Hello and welcome to the Old God's Meadery. I have something super special for you. Today, we're going to make some ancient mead made with this ancient honey sent from my good friend Pinker. Get ready for ancient Pinker mead. Let's start by adding in this honey from 1994. I'm a little nervous to open it. Oh, it smells amazing. All right, we're going to stop at two jars and save the third one for another special occasion. This is exactly two and a half pounds of honey. Let's add half a gallon of water to that. You can go ahead and add your other half gallon straight to the bucket. Heat and stir. We're just trying to dissolve the honey here, so no need to make it too hot. We don't want to kill the yeast in the next step. Combine the two. All right, go ahead and add your yeast. I'm using D47, and we're going to use about half a packet here, two and a half grams. and a half teaspoon of yeast nutrient. Now seal her up. And shake it well. Add your airlock, a dab of water, and we're done. Now we wait. All right, it's been a few weeks and we've officially stopped bubbling. That means our yeast is done producing alcohol, so it's time to rack this mead. Hmm, interesting. All right, we're gonna use this mini siphon to transfer our mead from our bucket to our glass carboy. As long as our bucket is raised above the carboy, gravity should do most of the work here. Okay, let's airlock it again and place it in a cool, dark place. Over time, everything that's inside will settle, leaving only the good stuff towards the top. Stay tuned. Now we wait. All right, it's been a few months. And we're as clear as we're going to get. It's time to bottle this ancient mead. All right, four bottles, corked, labeled, batch 116 is complete. Thank you so much for watching batch 116. It all into this, your Pinker Mead, your ancient mead provided by my good pal Pinker. Pinker, thank you so much. This has been an amazing, amazing experiment. I can tell you it doesn't smell great. <laughs> And you can, uh, if you paid attention during the bottling process, it has some froth to it. Almost like, you know, like a dark beer. It, it still smells like honey, but almost like a boche, really burnt honey. I don't know if I'm associating that with the color. Um, still get a little bit of alcohol. I don't know. You can't judge a book by its cover. Let's try it. Oh. 
Okay, okay. Uh, it is froth frothy. Is that the right word? Um, a little like bubbly. Uh, it's not bad, but I will tell you, it tastes a little flat. It, um, not that, you know, most meads are carbonated. It's just flat. Does that make sense? I don't know. Uh, it's still really cool. This honey is older than most of the people watching this. 30 year old honey. It's insane. I, I can't believe it. It turned out beautiful though. It's just like just a really dark. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could get it. I could get it. I'm going to finish this bottle for sure. Peeker again. Thank you so much. What a cool, cool experiment this is. Have been. This has been. I love it. Ah, skull!